Come to Florida, we flood here. <laughs> but this is a tropical storm, so obviously we're getting a ton of rain. There's Blaze. Trigger is just in rain mode. Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. And if you guys can hear the noise, we are actually, right now when you guys see this, this is the start of a tropical storm. So when you guys see this, we'll be going through a tropical storm. So I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me, but we're just gonna go ahead and get through this intro really quick. So today, we are going to be fully completing all of the stall floor mattresses. I did a full in-depth video already about this. These are our stall mattresses from Ram Horse Fencing and Stalls. So we had this in a video where we just were able to complete one because I wanted to show you guys. But now it's getting time to closing in on finishing the barn. So in this video, we complete all of the stall mattresses. So let's just go ahead and get right into finishing all these stalls. If you guys are excited to see the final product of the flooring, go ahead and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos and of course have a chance to make a post notification shout out. Are right, you guys, let's get right into finishing these flooring. Just taking a break from the barn really quick to check on everybody out here and oh my gosh you guys the pasture is a lake again we were completely dry all the last week with the water trough overflowing and it is drier and higher up front but they clearly just want to stand back here oh, I wish my barn was done so bad we could be in the barn right now but the storm is actually not that bad right now it is raining obviously pretty hard that the property can't even like keep up and drain at all. This is the deepest this has come because it's actually coming past the fence. So it's pretty bad. If it gets really bad, um, I might move them over into the cow pasture just because our back pasture, I don't want them back here yet. Hi babies. But we really haven't had much rain so no one has rain rot or anything like that. So that's good so nothing's getting like irritated. But it's pretty deep. Hi babies. So welcome to Florida. We flood here. <laughs> but this is a tropical storm, so obviously we're getting a ton of rain. There's blaze. Trigger is just in rain mode. So the horses are pretty used to rain like this, obviously, in big hurricanes. I don't know if anybody knows, but we had a hurricane called Hurricane Irma. And we actually boarded our horses at that time. And we only had blaze for like a day. Um, and then Hurricane Irma hit. So we had to put him out to pasture. And then I had to go out and try to catch him and he didn't even like know us. And the water was like nothing. Like this was nothing compared to what it was. Obviously we didn't live in this house, but it was up to my like, higher than my knees and you could hardly see the horse's legs. So I was basically swimming to go get my horses. Trigger found a higher-ish spot over there. What are you doing? <laughs> Trigger's walking up front. Everyone's deciding to walk up front. <laughs> Trigger. So see there is some dry patches that they can go up to and then the front of the pasture is actually pretty pretty dry um, compared to back here. 
and this is what the front gate looks like obviously we still haven't put the back gate on but this is what the front gate looks like so this is what i was explaining to y'all about putting the gate right here and still being able to close our overhead garage door so the barn is all closed up and the gate still like fits perfectly right there i love that we painted it white because as you can see it blends perfectly in with the door it just goes really well the cows are over there they're doing good um some of stewie's pen um, the top of the roof over there is kind of waving in the wind last night So we had to go up there and just put some more screws in and it's been good um, The flapping of the metal noise was scaring him, but the cows are over there We actually have the chicken coop closed. We don't want any of the chickens coming out just in case the wind gets really bad So chickens are closed up. The cows are doing good. Their pasture is actually really dry and Stewie's area is not flooded or anything like that So he's doing good laid out in all the remaining stalls so here we just finished this one and then going on the opposing side we have this one and then this one over here so all the flooring is done and then the extra mats we have laying in here that we will cut open and use the loose crumble across it just like you guys saw in my installation video so we just have to do that with all of them and then the flooring will almost be done getting work done and the fifth stall will be next 
Oh, this is so good, you guys, we are so close to being done. And you guys, a little update on the kittens. So there's the little black one over there, there's the gray one. So Mike and I are just sitting in the tack room and playing with them. We do this often, we let them run around. You got the camera strap, little one? <laughs> it's a big game. So guys, a quick little update. So the four kittens are doing really well. If you guys don't know this, but on Instagram, I had told everyone that the mom cat got sick after the kittens got sick and we took her to the animal ER. Long story short, the mom passed away. We don't really know what she passed away of. They did say something viral. Oh, little licks, thank you. So unfortunately, the mom passed away. So now we are feeding the kittens milk and they have transitioned to wet food. So they're still getting really taken care of. Don't worry, you guys. But I wanted to just let you guys know and give you an update because everyone keeps asking, but all the kittens are doing well and they will be nice and healthy. All right, you guys, so we officially have a flooring in all the stalls. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. So every single stall, literally, number four, and finally, number five. I cannot believe it. This took us literally all day. We started at literally 11 a.m. and finished at 10 p.m. So it's done though. We have everything closed up because of the storm. We just don't want it to get wet in here. But all of the flooring is in. So I'm so excited because this is a huge, like giant step to getting the horses in the barn. We just realistically need to finish the bars and finish up the electricity. And then it's just little stuff. And then the horses can finally do their grand reveal of the barn. I'm so excited, you guys. So, I hope you guys liked today's video and I hope you guys are so excited as I am that the stall flooring is finally done. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this vlog up here because obviously we need to start getting a little bit ready for the tropical storm just in case it turns into a hurricane. But if you guys love how the stall mattress turned out, put in my comments. I wanna hear all your guys' feedback. Are right, you guys, if you guys like this video and are super excited that the horses get to come in soon since now we have the flooring, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance to make a post notification shout out. And today's shout out goes to, all right, you guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.